Indonesia, if you've been paying attention to the second set of clues, then bring light to the world and be uplifting too. Uplifting too? What does that mean? Bring, then bring light to the world and be uplifting too. So you did one of those two things. Yeah, I have to be Now uplifting. you have to figure out how to do the second. Be uplifting too. And then where's the light? So Indonesia! That's, so that's the last place we're going. What? Much more of a success this year. I it took him so. more than three seconds, which was nice. It made me feel good. I was up till two in the morning with this one. I'm and, pretty happy uh, about it though. He did good. Greetings, friends. This video, I think, requires a bit of context. Every year, we like to get most years some year, fairly frequently, we like to give the gift of travel to the kids for Christmas. We like to book a family trip that will usually take somewhere around January and February. We'll try to take three weeks or a month and go have an awesome adventure somewhere. This year's trip, we decided to go to Asia. We booked the trip to land in Shanghai, uh, have 24 hours in Shanghai, from there fly to Bangkok, we would travel down through Thailand, into Malaysia, Malaysia into Indonesia, ending in Bali, and we were gonna fly home from Bali. What we didn't know is 2020 was gonna happen. Just so we're clear, when we decided that we were still gonna go on our trip, coronavirus hadn't exploded like it has now. There weren't lockdowns yet, there weren't quarantines and isolations yet, and we had no real idea of how big, bad, and dramatic this was going to get. I just want to say up front, we weren't trying to be irresponsible. We maybe just didn't have a full picture of what was going to happen. That being said, our trip was amazing. We had a fantastic time, even though we only had 24 hours in Shanghai. It was incredible to see China, even just a little sliver of it, and to get a bit of time there and get a feel for it. It was amazing. I have to go back there at some point when it's safe to do so. The rest of the travel was absolutely fantastic. We, we weren't seeing the full-on pandemic that it became. Um, about midway through our trip, that did start to happen. We did have to reschedule some things, but we'll get into that later. For this video, this is our flight to China, and then our 24 hours in China was really just sleeping. So sorry, there's not a lot there. There's a lot of travel to get there. And then uh, our flight to Bangkok. So this begins the Asia series and traveling Asia during a pandemic. Who knew? Here we go again. Today's adventure, we're about to head to the airport. The car should be here any minute. Let's go. And now, we're at the airport, China Eastern Air. We're gonna go to China. Checking everything. Checked into our flight, wake up. Come on, wake up. There we go. Checked into our flights. We are now gonna go through security, get that over and done with. And we're on our way. Shanghai, here we come. We'll be at Shanghai in 18 hours. A quick 18. This is the earliest we've ever checked in for a flight. It's a long flight. It's a 15 hour flight. We're doing it with the babies, so we got a cot. 
or a bassinet. And they told us to come early because it's first come, first serve. So we did that. But because of this, a plane that normally has 300 people on it and was supposed to have more than 300 people on it, most people have canceled less than 100 people on this plane. They gave us a free seat for the baby. Are you gonna go to China? No, don't eat. made it to Shanghai and uh, now we have to figure out how to get to our Airbnb. I did not sleep at all on that plane. The boy slept a couple hours, Hannah slept a couple hours. We gotta find our way to the bond. Wish us luck. We just went through the health screening, filled out health declaration forms. Now we grab the train to pick up our baggage. Stoked to check out Shanghai. Now we made it through the immigration. We got our 24 hour visas issued. Pretty easy process, but not the fastest moving. Now we're trying to find our baggage. We got the luggage, even though that's not our flight. And none of the, uh, none of the screens talked about our flight or told us where our luggage was. And then Elias just happened to notice our luggage spinning around, which was good. So we got the luggage. Now, we need to go to the train. Claire, we'll go out find the train. Yeah. Find the train. So it was very easy to get the maglev tickets. You just find this area right here on the second floor. Seems like you walk 10 miles, but you get there. And then you go in through here, and now we're gonna get on the super crazy insane fast train. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're on platform A or B. Thank you. We are on platform A, apparently. And we made it. Alice is thrilled. We are on the Maglev train. It's definitely in the top two fastest in the world. It might be the fastest. Japan's might be the fastest. There's only two commercially available Maglev trains on planet Earth, and this is one of them. And, uh, we're gonna see how fast she gets. At different times, it goes different speeds. Hopefully we get max speed tonight. It has literally been two minutes, and we're actually two minutes now, and we're at 300 kilometers an hour. Right. Watching Shanghai just went by.
we had a lovely time in Shanghai, despite the uh, coronavirus being a major concern, we had a beautiful time. People were friendly, uh, the apartment, the view is beautiful. I think I showed you, but I'll show you one more time, because just the view during the day. Look at that. There's the bond right there, that's the Oriental Pearl. At night, this all lights up. What a place. Uh, thank you to Amy, our Airbnb host, and uh, on to Bangkok. So now we're going to get a cab to the airport, check in for our flight, and we'll be in Bangkok. Bang, bang, hi. We'll be in Bangkok in a few hours. Not much time left. Actually, our flight's boarding now. So we're on our way to, of course, our gate is way at the far end. On our way there, then we are off to Thailand. I'll be eating a pad thai in no time, man. No time, see what I did there? I appreciate your time, I appreciate you watching these videos, and I wish you all love, health, happiness, and wealth. Life is now here. That, that was weird, I don't, I don't know why I went for that. Have, have a great day. Life is no Life is now here.